Our next task is to fill out the information on the site tab. Again, we will save the file as a new version. On the site tab you will see various information related to weather. The first task is to set the weather file. We don't have any weather files for this project so we will have to download them. Go to the Energy Plus website, browse for the location, We will say this project is located in Medford. We'll go with the TMY3 file, that's the latest weather file data. We'll just collect we'll just click download all. We'll take that data that we downloaded and we need to drop it into the Open Studio folder. So browse to your local disk, go to Open Studio, and we'll put it in the Energy Plus folder because it's Energy Plus weather files. We don't have a weather folder, so we'll create one. Next, we'll go to set weather file. Browse to the location where we put the, put the weather file. And we'll select it. The weather file itself is an EPW file, Energy Plus weather file. The next task is to import the design day file. That is one of the files that we downloaded. Again, Browse to the Open Studio Energy Plus weather folder and, and select the DDY file. Okay, the design day file is used for sizing the HVAC equipment that is specified as auto size in the project. You can go through and look at the design day parameters and you can even change some of these parameters too to suit your needs. Another thing to note on the site tab is these measure tabs. These will be used for advanced energy modeling. You can select the climate zones we will discuss these later. The other task on the site tab is to select by year. If you're going to select specific what if you're going to model your your building based on specific utility data, you would select this button here. But we're going to model our building using typical metrological year data, so we will select this button here. Also, the, our location in Medford is subject to daylight savings time, so you want to click this on. Double check that the beginning and ending of the daylight savings time is correct for your area. Life cycle cost tab up at the top can be selected, and this is, for, this is also for cost analysis on projects. 
we will not cover that at this time. Next tab is utility bills. Again, you will note that you should select the, the specific weather year if you're going to input utility bills. We'll click this just to show you. Click calendar year and we'll just say that we're going to model our building based on the year 2000. Go back to utility bills and you'll see that now you can input any input utility bills. Again, we will do this at a future lesson. Go back and select first day of year to model based on typical metrological year. That concludes our lesson for today regarding the site tab.